In this lesson, I'll show you two examples involving Avogadro's law. Question one reads, a male athlete in a kinesiology research study has a lung volume of 6.15 liters during a deep inhalation. At this volume, his lungs contain 0.254 mole of air. During exhalation, his lung volume decreases to 2.55 liters. How many moles of gas did the athlete exhale? Assume constant temperature and pressure. For this, we'll use Avogadro's law, which is defined as V sub 1 over N sub 1, where N represents the number of moles, is equal to V2 over N2. The initial volume is 6.15. So V1 is 6.15 liters, and the original number of moles is 0 0.0254. So that's N1 is equal to 0 0.254 moles. We're told that during exhalation, his lung volume decreases to 2.55. So V2 is 2.55 liters. How many moles of gas did the athlete exhale? This is not too hard. So we have 6.15. I'm replacing these numbers into the formula. 0 0.254 is equal to the volume of 255 over N. N2. And we'll be solving for N2. N2 times 6.15, I'm cross multiplying here, is equal to 6.15 times N sub 2. Now I'll use my calculator for this next one. 0 0.254 times 2.55 gives us, multiplying these two out, 0 0.6477. 0 0.6477. Solving for N sub 2, I divide both sides by 615. And this gives us, we get 0 0.1053, 0 0.1053 moles. Now the question asks, how many mole of gas did the athlete exhale? So I have to do one more thing before I start to round this number with the correct number of significant figures. So I'll take 0 0.254, the original amount, subtracted from 0 0.1053, and I get 0 0.14. 0 0.1487 with the correct number of significant figures this 8 will become a 9 because the 7 is greater than 5 so we have 0 0.149 moles of air were exhaled. Now we can move on to question 2 which reads a chemical reaction occurring in a cylinder equipped with a movable piston produces 0 0.621 moles of gaseous product if the cylinder contains 0 0.120 moles of gas before the reaction, so this is N1, and had an initial volume, V1, of 2.18 liters, what was its volume after the reaction? Once again, we have to assume that the pressure and temperature are constant and that the initial amount of gas completely reacted. The formula is V1 over N1, 2.18 over 0 0.120 is equal to this time V2 over 0 0.621. I'm going to cross multiply and worry about significant figures at the end. This times V2 is V2 times 0 0.120, or you can use brackets instead of that dot. This times that gives us 0 0.621 times 2.18, that's 1.35378. 1 1.35378. Dividing both sides by 0 0.120, we get that divided by 0 0.120, 11.28. given that we need three significant figures, and the first discard number is an 8, which is greater than 5, this becomes a 3. So 11.3 liters. That is the volume after the reaction. And there you have it. That is how to use Avogadro's law to solve chemical problems involving volume and moles.